We're here today in Lake Placid, New York, looking at the Olympic ski jumps that were built for the 1980 Olympics. We have two ski jumps here. We have the K90 meter, which is the smaller hill, which we are able to jump year round. It has both summer and the winter surface on it. And also the larger hill, which is the K120 meter jump, which is the largest jump that they jump in the Olympic games. And that only is used in the winter time and when it is obviously prepared. Looking at the K120 in Lake Placid, you can see that obviously it's a very large tower. On a lot of the newer jumps and, and you know many other jumps, the in run, which is the ramp portion of it, is actually built into the hill. And it actually makes the jump look a lot smaller. Um, looking at the hill, you can notice that it's not very sheltered from the wind. It does bring a lot of beauty to not only Lake Placid, but it makes it very special for the ski jumpers to jump it. Because it is a tower-oriented jump, it definitely looks large. And even to the most seasoned ski jumpers, you're, you know, your first jump up there, it's, it's a little intimidating just because it looks so large as a tower. This is the first time that we've jumped the K120, obviously in the winter time, in six years. It has not been open in six years. Uh, last year they tried very hard to, uh, to get it open, but unfortunately in January we had about two to three weeks of rain and it just basically turned the hill into a block of ice. One of the biggest reasons why the K120 isn't used very much in Lake Placid um, is one, it, it's very expensive to get the jump up and going. And after you do get the jump up and going, the snow on the ramp portion of it is only about I would say eight to ten inches deep so the air temperature is actually hitting the top of the ramp and it's also hitting the bottom of the ramp so you're getting warm air from both sides and literally if if we were to have one 40 to 45 degree day in rain that whole in run would be gone so they just spent how many thousands of dollars to blow snow on it to prepare it get the track cut in it and in one day it could be gone this hill is is a very special hill and I think it's just the point that we don't get to jump it very often. It is a higher flying hill so we're we're actually uh, a lot higher than you are on a lot of other K120s so so it's you know it, it gets your adrenaline pumping. Um, so when people get wind that the jump may be open people get very excited and you know and there's a lot of talk about it so when we do get the opportunity to jump it you know you want to take out every opportunity that you can to go out and and take a couple jumps on it this was my first time in nine years jumping not only this hill but jumping any k120 i haven't jumped the k120 in nine years and the last time i jumped one was on this hill walking out from the top for the first time you know, you, you start getting the, the butterflies in the stomach and, and you're looking down and you're like, wow, I don't remember this jump being so high. At the same time, because the jump is so high flying and because it's so intimidating, you really need to, to try to put those feelings aside and really concentrate on having a good jump because, you know, it's, it's hard to say, but this jump will eat you alive if you're not jumping well.